Good morning. It is Monday, June 12, 2023. It is 8.37 a.m. in my locale. Um, sorry this video is late today, but we're going to tip it down, but at least the light is good. But we do have a, a note that lets us know why we didn't do one yesterday. So yesterday was my day off, so I had to go running out to town. Uh, we had something we had to take care of. And a couple things that we had to pick up and then got back here and took care of some stuff. And it was a pretty quiet and uneventful day for the most part. So what we're going to do is we're going to read our poem. We're going to pull our room. We're going to read our book. And then we're going to have our obligatory case of you of the day. And then an extra feature we're going to start including here on our channel. Today's poem. Finishing a day of begging, I return home to the green mountains. The setting sun is hidden behind the western cliffs, and the moon shines weakly on the stream below. I stop by a rock and wash my feet. Lighting some incense, I sit peacefully in Zazen. Again, a one-man brotherhood of monks. Ah, how quickly the time stream of time sweeps by. Wayokan, 1758-1831. Again, a one-man brotherhood of monks. Ah, how quickly this stream of time sweeps by. Well, that one talked to me. That one I heard. Our daily rune pull. Again, we pulled Isa, but I pulled it sideways, so we're not going to use that. We're going to do it the right way. Again, you pull a monk, um, you pull a rune sideways, you re-pull. That's the way it works. This is correct. That is the Rune of the Warrior. We have pulled that before. I'm going, So I'm going to paraphrase, right? Just because we can. Hang on. Manaz, Gabo, where's Tiwaz? Thilla, Perth, now these, LGs. I hate when I, I stop that. I don't know what you heard. Here it is, Tiwaz. Rune of the Spiritual Warrior, funding a will through action, yet unattached to outcomes, remaining mindful. All you can really do is stay out of your own way and let the will of heaven flow through you. Oh, keep that little phrase in mind in the next three minutes. Stay out of your own way and let the will of heaven flow through you. The sword of discrimination, cutting away the the garbage, the the dead, the extraneous, getting down to the fundamentals, being patient, delving down to the foundation of your life itself, and only in doing so can you deal with the deepest needs of your nature. This is a molding of character. Keep that sentence in your mind. Sun, masculine energy, active principles, conquest. You're trying for self-conquest. You have to go inside of yourself and clear all the stuff out. And if you have a relationship, a devotion to a cause, or an idea or path of conduct, devotion to a cause and a relationship, be perseverant, although you must be patient. It is courage and dedication. All right, our little book. We're going to have some fun here. The fewer the... Oh, we pulled... Damn, the fewer the ones prepare against others. We did that yesterday. I'm going to have to get another copy of this book. Thus, the victorious army is like a ton compared with an ounce, while the defeated army is like an ounce weighed against a ton. The combat of the victorious is like the sudden release of pent-up torrents down a thousand fathom gorge. This is the strategic disposition of force. Okay. So, you know, when, you, when you're winning, you are gaining a lot of energy, a lot of strength. All right, we're going to... Go to our obligatory case overview. Anything you want to say, buddy? Love you. And now, for the reason we had to run the town today, and there was not a video yesterday. Here is our new segment, 
right? This is your quiet moment of Bodhi. Yes, I adopted another dog. This is Bodhi. He is about nine pounds. He is a miniature pincher chihuahua mix. He's about two. He's been here to uh, meet and greet Queso, and Queso has been to meet and greet him in town a couple weeks ago. And guess what? He is the new ensign of the Carrie Ellen. I might put him on security because he barks at just about everything. Chihuahua type of stuff. But eats very well. We, we bought him some food. Sleeps very well. Slept on the bed last night. No problem. He and Queso get along. As long as he doesn't poke in Queso's face, the two of them can lay very comfortably together, which is how I knew it was that. We were talking about, you know, sometimes you just know and i just knew when i saw his face i filled out the uh the thing they called me the next day and the next thing you know here we go so it's now bodhi b-o-d-h-i like bodhisattva i didn't name him he came with the name right so that's a good sign right there so now your quiet moment of bodhi begins now I don't know, buddy. So, obviously, my house is a wreck. I am. There you go. I I might make him chief of security, uh, even though he's an ensign, because this dog barks at leaves. Reminds me of Queso when Queso was young. Today's plans, I don't have to work. So, it's water plants. I have some stuff to hear. My house is a wreck. So, now I'm trying to figure out how to manage two crates in here. I think I got it. I got a 24-inch, and I got a 30-inch. Queso's been in the 30 inch forever in a day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch him to the 24. And I'm going to put Bodhi in the 30. Both of them will sit on the bed during the day. Uh, so what else we got? I also got an alert that my, the item that I purchased, which is a temperature and humidity sensor for the RV that hooks up to your wireless and will send you text messages and ping if your power goes out, temperature goes too high, you name it. Awesome. I, I really need to, to have that because then I can put a special tone on my phone so I know what's going on. It was back ordered, obviously. So now it has been, it's on its way for delivery. So again, today is bacon jerky. If the bacon jerky goes real quick, then we're going to go directly to potatoes for 100 jack. And we're going to dehydrate those. Figure out these crates. Garbage has to go out. I got to do the dishes. He's eating well. He needs a little spice in his food now. So a little ground chicken. I think next time I go to town, we're going to buy some um, some turkey. We're going to get the cheapest turkey we can. We have an Instant Pot. I know how to make ground food. It's fine. But I'm sure you'll forgive me now for not putting out a video yesterday because we were picking somebody up. And that means June 11th is his gotcha day. So we don't know how, when he was born, so we're just going to set it as June 11th. And that's the end of that. Okay, so still May 5th. Okay. So thank you all very much. Our message today, you know, simple living. A one-man brotherhood of monks. Work hard to get rid of the extraneous and the old. Okay. You know, be strong, you know, be very readily to remove those things that block, even if you have to stay the course for a real habit or a relationship, just persevere. That's why I can't wait to send a picture to you know who, but, you know, she has been a little incommunicado for a while. We're not, maybe that, maybe this little guy can break her out of her mental illness. Maybe. 
but that would mean I have four dogs, which yeah, I've had that many before. It sounds pretty good. I I miss my other two. This this little critter who needed a home, um, he was adopted, and then he somehow the adoptee said, "Oh, he he bit me." He, Dog isn't violent in any way. So nobody really believes that story. He needed a home. He needs a little more attention than what he was getting. The home had about nine dogs in it. So he needs a little individualized attention. And he's fitting in very, very well. Like I said, no pee pee in the house, no poo poo in the house. Slept on the bed last night with me and Queso. Never jumped off, never anything. Got a little rammy. And I kept saying, come back here. And he just. Queso found my armpit, this dog found behind my knees, and perfectly fine. So far, so good. And uh, I think we're going to get to start uh, doing some dishes. And then I've got to get a mason jar out, because once I do the bacon, I'm going to have bacon grease. And bacon grease is great to cook with. And apparently, if you didn't know, dogs like it in their food. So, have a great day. And thank you for understanding no video yesterday. I think we have a I think we have a real reason here that we didn't have one. So thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. It's time for dishes. Bye.